Tear gas and police in riot gear helped disperse a large crowd of protesters last night in Ferguson, Missouri. The police chief there in that St. Louis suburb where a man was shot and killed by a police officer is asking protesters to gather during the daylight. We'll have the very latest coming up on News Radio KLBJ. Don is calling from Central Austin wants to talk about the situation in Ferguson, Missouri. Hello, Donna. Welcome. You're on KLBJ. Hi, I just want to say that it's a tragedy that this young man was killed. But I also want to say that, you know, police officers are afraid because criminals are getting more violent. They've got weaponry that is really strong, these nine millimeters and all that. And uh, they they just, they're afraid. They don't know what to do. So when it looks like somebody's suspicious, if if they act... Donna, this young man had no record. He he never got in trouble with the police. And you call him these criminals. Again, we don't know. We don't know what happened yet and as far as burning the cities down that's just that's what's feeding into our belief that these people are potentially violent and would kill a cop i mean they're writing it all over the walls in the in the city and when police sign up to protect and to serve that doesn't mean they don't want to see their kids and, and wife at the end of the day you're exactly right they want to see their kids and the wives but we've got to get the story we've got they've got to investigate exactly. and they got to get to the bottom of this because we have two conflicting stories big time donna is there exactly. is there any part of the friend's description that you find troubling or alarming again i can't say because you got one person say his hands were up against the thing don't shoot and another story where he was going for a weapon and the the police feared that his weapon might have been compromised so i just really can't say but the, the black panthers should be arrested for inciting violence bob welcome you're on klbj good morning guys great show as usual thank you thank you good morning I love you guys love, love you, guys. you too almost 15 yes. years love you guys love you too uh sergeant sam i agree with you i mean this guy's friend who's supposed to have been a witness i mean i've been shot before you this is coming from a person who spent a considerable amount of his youth on the wrong side of the law and i'm from the south side of chicago who gets shot stops turn around and puts their hands up the whole scenario what he's saying makes no sense at all and he's going to find himself on your on the stand and getting charged with perjury well if they can prove it you know if it's a he said uh he said it's a real difficult situation and i have i know this may come as a big shock i have known people to lie on the stand i I, I can i can see (laughs) i don't think he feared for his life you know i i just don't get it Uh, 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 i think that's i I think the officer feared for his life and that's why i unloaded i don't think he should that guy did not get shot stop turn around put his hands up come on man i've been in the military and all of that and i've been shot before that whole scenario right there it doesn't even make sense it doesn't yeah but no. bob, bob is saying he knows personally how people react yes. when they're in that kind of situation exactly exactly you're not going to get shot casually stop turn around and put your hands up unless the, shot, unless the cop missed unless the cop missed bob and he turned he around said, and had his hands in you, the air and then the cop shot 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 but uh, if you listen he said once he felt the shot that means he was hit listen to what he says he said once he felt the shot he stopped turned around put his hands up well that makes, that makes no, no sense, sense for mr for the witness to say what mr brown felt exactly yeah, That's what here, bob would sense. you please play the recording again for what his friend said that's yeah. what he said. Yeah, he hold on, Bob. Ho- hold on, Bob. I'll play okay. it. Stay on the line. Okay. Here we go. This is Dorian Johnson, the friend who was right there. Now, this is the part where he picks it up after Michael Brown and the officer already have been fighting, having the altercation in the car. So he says he and Brown are running at this point. Here we go. As he was running, the officer was trying to get out of the car. And once he got out the car, he uh, he pursued my friend, but his, his weapon was drawn. Now, he didn't see any weapon drawn at him or anything like that, us going for no weapon. His weapon was already drawn when he got out the car. He shot again, and once my friend felt that shot, he turned around and he put his hands in the air, and he started to get down, but the officer still approached with his weapon drawn, and he fired several more shots. There you go. Yeah, it does. You you know, once he felt the shot, he turned around. I don't see why he shot him in the first place. You know, I mean, that makes no sense. It does not. There it goes. There it goes. They are now firing onto the crowd. Out! Shit! They're firing rubber bullets.